decided and, and then reluctantly reluctantly decided to make this video with just one simple thought always dwelled inside my soul that well you might already knew what I'm about to say people ask me Mark please help me I wanted to wisely design fastidiously design whether I should go for the MacBook Air 11 inch 2015 or the MacBook 2015 the thing is I didn't want to make this video because I, I thought probably like people do more homeworks today before they execute their final decision to purchase something with their hard-earned money okay I'll well, I'll go ahead and move forward. Don't buy both. The MacBook early 2015 is merely an iPad Air 2. The actual speed of the processor is only 900 megahertz, not even 1 gigahertz. It has been overclocked beforehand. It's extremely slow. Force touch trackpad, butterfly mechanism based keyboard. That's not the issues, but it has only one port. There is one common denominator. When we talk about the first generation of Apple products, they all have one thing in common and one thing only. Try not to buy the first generation. That MacBook is not the MacBook. They used the name MacBook, it's not the MacBook. Is another version of the MacBook Air 11 inch. It's merely because it's merely an iPad, it's merely a tablet, it's like a Microsoft bloody Surface Pro right here. I got a Microsoft Surface Pro with the, uh, with the kickstand and uh, the keyboard cover here. When they compare, when they compare the MacBook Air to other competitors on the market, they always compare with the Microsoft Surface Pro. They won't compare the inner of the MacBooks early 2015 with full scales or full fetched laptops. Why? Because neither Airs nor the MacBook or a full fetched or full scale laptop, they are just hybrid devices. They're tablets look like laptops try not to buy the air because I didn't see huge development compared to its predecessor or the previous generation or the prior model no faster internal storage just Thunderbolt 2 can hook up to 4k display up to 60 hertz of refresh rate bologna because the thing is, try to buy the 13 inch MacBook Air because if you buy the 13 inch MacBook Air first, well, not just, well, not just larger screen. Not just larger screen, you get, but you get better ratio of photo screen. You get a built in SDXC card reader. So you can, you know, slide something in insert the SD card inside like the one from Transcend and it can create the storage capacity bigger trackpad Albi is not the fastest one larger function keys longer battery life faster internal storage well the PC is best flash storage for me Try not to buy the first generation early 2015 MacBook and try not to buy the 2015 MacBook Air 11 inch. Wait for the upcoming, the one with Skylake. I'm not saying that I have to buy that, but try not to buy the early 2015 MacBook Air 11 inch. Wait for the one, Skylake one, with probably. The thing is, 
you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm really serious about this. There is no early 2015 MacBook. It's merely another form of the MacBook Air. How do you define the word Air? Air is razor thin, longer battery life. The battery lasts very long because it's not a full-scale, full-fledged laptop. It's merely a tablet with a keyboard permanently attached to it. We are talking about the thermal design power, the TDP. When the processor reaches certain levels, temperature stops performance. In order to stop that processor from being overheat. So therefore, it's light, it's cheap, the battery lasts pretty long because it's a tablet, but you can't do like heavy duty tasks. You can't do like graphic intensive tasks or CPU intensive tasks. So my verdict is, done by both of them. Wait, if you really want to buy one, try not, well, I, I slightly recommend the Air 11 inch more than the early 2015 MacBook, but I strongly recommend that you should buy the 13 inch MacBook Air early 2015. Sorry if you already knew everything that I was saying. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching.